Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's August, which is so crazy because that means that school is here. It also means that I'm gonna have a baby this month, which is extra crazy, but school is here. So that means campus planning season, campus recruiting season. Um, I just wanna know, how are you doing? How are you doing with your campus planning? If you are a recruiter for a, any organization that participates in a campus recruiting season, you are probably underway already with your campus plans. And if you're not, you probably should be because your dates are probably beginning soon. So I want to know where you are. So are you figuring out what your strategy is, how many you're going to hire and where you're going to hire them, what schools you're going to, what your numbers look like, what your budget looks like. Are you past that already? Are you like building out your calendar now and figuring out how you're going to get the manpower together to execute against all of these events? Um, or are you worrying about candidate selection and the interview process and offers and negotiation? Or are you like, you already know what you're doing and you're working on rebuilding your onboarding plans or what you're going to do with them when they get here and how you're going to build morale and keep them. Um, you definitely should be somewhere in that process. So like I said, if you're not there already, um, definitely do what you can to um, get your planning together. Um, and as always, I totally wanted to offer you three tips to an awesome campus season. I did this for a lot of years and I love campus recruiting. Um, and this will help you just get ahead of the game and give you that edge. So number one, participate in virtual events. Attend virtual career fairs. They're a great additional funnel for talent and also it's a really cool way to find talent from schools that may not have a physical career fair or maybe they do have a physical career fair but then want to participate in something like this that's location based or like a region based or an industry based. Um, and it's a, just a great way to network and to get exposure to both sides. So good for recruiters and also good for job seekers. Um, tip number two is for recruiters. If you're planning your season, pay attention to the home sports games, um, particularly in the South. I know football, um, so but it could be anything. This could be fall or spring, so like football, hockey, baseball, basketball, whatever it is. Pay attention to when the big home games are. Um, if they're on a Saturday, you don't really want to plan your interview day on the Friday before because most likely the temperature of the of the campus is definitely different and classes are getting out early and people aren't wanting to prepare for an interview day so pay attention to that and finally make sure that when you are extending your offers um you know however you stagger out your season and you extend offers to candidates give them some time with their family to make a decision so if it happens to fall around a break like a fall break or thanksgiving or spring break offer your candidate the time to speak with their family, compare some of their offers, be confident enough in what you're offering, um, but make sure that you're keeping that candidate warm. So have a good communication structure, um, introduce them to people at the company so that way they feel continually interested, well supported, but that you're offering them time with their family to make a thoughtful decision. So I hope those tips help. Um, and as always, if you need anything from me, please feel free to reach out. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching um, in this space exactly. Um, for more regular content updates, you can subscribe to my email list. I'm linking that in the first comment and also in the post above. Um, and obviously connect with me on here. So I hope you have a great week and welcome to August. And I hope you have a great campus planning season. Bye.